place for mobile and livestock. No dangerous animals, no expired foods. They should put in there nothing that's broken or needs fixed. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Hope you'll join me. bit more of an overview up close here. I lost my battery earlier when, and there's all kinds of new stuff today, During even the day, food, the day I put the more clothing, the, the household, night, uh, technical and wires. I just brought over a few little things too. Any of you who have seen my, maybe somebody wants to decorate their rig or do something with those and then I got the beanies. Hey Jackie, how's it going? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Here we are with your beautiful beanies you've donated. Oh and Jackie, all the thank you. Fantastic items you've donated so we can put it on our free pile. <laughs> Stuff that doesn't fit me anymore. Yes, Oops, yes, yes. that happens. <laughs> Yes, so, so yes, how you've been here for a couple days now? Yeah, we. I'm here the start of the RTR Women's RTR, and I'm going to be here till the end of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And how's it how's it going? People get excited finding little treasures here. Very excited because you come and you find so many amazing items. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. even I got myself a blanket and a nice rug you know to put around the van so yeah yeah, yeah so amazing it's stuff it's so cool give and take yeah. give and take yeah yep yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and every then day you find something from in the van that you need to bring and put there yeah and yeah. it feels it's just such a treasure yeah. yes. Oh, yes yes yes, yes. Yeah, and then is. um can you think off the top of your head anything that was like a very unusual thing that that somebody picked up or no but we have gotten um items that we have no clue what it is okay well we put it out there and um somebody would take it because they know what it is yeah and so, kind of like those things the belts that i just brought you there's yeah. no buckles like what the heck yeah this yeah. is junk and then all of a sudden it's somebody not junk exactly somebody's junk is someone else's treasure yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so yeah so you girls are doing a great job i'm over at the sweepstakes it's really nice to meet you oh so, same here yeah yeah you're having so, fun having fun <laughs> rosie you having fun yes rosie yeah nice to meet you nice to meet you're here at the yes i'm i'm the lead for this and yes, also the cold lead. weather okay yeah so can you think of anything that's been um uh, like that somebody donated. How about a big item? That's that. Well, we, we I know there's some like really a, generous uh, people here in this group. We did get like a. Uh, we got a refrigerator a, yesterday. A van seat. Like a not, van seat. Like okay. A seat. Uh huh. So that was kind of unusual because it's been it's been here since the beginning. So, so I don't. Know, I think you have to have a certain vehicle to put that in. But it went. No, it's still here. Oh, it's still here. Yeah, but we've had the refrigerator. Uh, how long oh, did we that last? Like, and that was really nice. Okay, like, yeah, quick, huh? We have an electric scooter that we still haven't, um, we haven't found anyone to take it yet, but I was looking at it, it's brand new. The person who donated it is gonna bring the rest of the parts once there's a phone number on there, so whoever wants it will be able to get the whole thing together and wow. scoot around an electric scooter. Wow, I call yeah. that quite the blessing. Yes, but we've had a lot of uh, uh, large ticket items that come and both those things go fast. Fast. Yeah, Refrigerator. Solar panels, okay. Solar panels go fast. Um, kitchen stove or uh, little uh, propane stoves. Um, anything, you know, that you can fit in a vehicle to use in van life or in a uh, an RV, those go really fast. Yeah, and I bet you have people that visit like multiple times a day, yeah, just just well, so they because everything usually, changes quickly. You know, the people that that are really involved are the ones that bring a bunch of stuff and then they look through it and then they and then some stuff comes back that didn't fit. You know, I want you know somebody else to have it. Yeah. Um, but you know we do get a lot of good books. Oh my gosh. The oh, good the books, books go too. too. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. I I brought a holy bible too. So, oh, you there know, you just go. that's, that's kind of nice. A lot of, a lot of uh, warm weather gear goes really fast. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, you gave us some really good information. I'm sure the people that are listening now are really going to enjoy that. And I appreciate okay. you all. all right. Thank just you, just filling me in. Thanks Rosie. Yeah. Thanks Jackie. Awesome. Well, that's pretty. I don't need it, but I love it. <laughs>
<laughs> Look how fun for the kids, huh? Including us. Oh, precious. Cute little backpack here. Very nice. Everything is so well organized. Someone who needs a fan. Oh my gosh, there's a whole thing of these little cups. So you could just, just take one, right? That's nice. A big mirror for someone who has a bigger rig. Air mattress. Backwash hose. Stuff that I have no idea. A big water jug here. Lots of books. Anybody need a chair? There you go. Rosie, what do you got there? Hi, this is a little, uh, a new little friend. Uh, it's a girl. She's got beautiful blue eyes, and there's actually a lady here that has six of them. And um, but we've already got an adopter for this one. Uh, it's going to be um, our May, and she's taking her home. Are you serious? Yeah. I was just talking to our May. Yes, she is half. Uh, Australian Shepherd and half pit bull. Okay, and she's they're gonna get around 30 pounds. Uh, we there's, there is also here a German Shepherd and a, 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 a German Shepherd and a pit bull. And those are bigger. Those are uh, about 45 pounds. So this will be a little smaller than that. So anyway, she's just gorgeous. You know what? I was over there talking to you, and I said, "Have you got anything unusual?" Yeah, and now and I you, do. And you came over, and it was like, "Wow!" So the, then you also have the German Shepherds too. Yeah. Well, the, I'm actually a German Shepherd. There's just one of those, and, but that one will be a little bigger, and it's from a different, uh, a different mom. Do you know how old this dog is? She is about six weeks old. Six weeks old. Oh my gosh! Who would have thunk? Yeah, at the free yeah, pal. At the free pal. Boy, are you gonna pile. you're gonna yes. have a little story yes. uh, for people to share with one another someday? Yes. Definitely. Yes. All right. So, All right. Well, thanks, okay. Rosie, Thank for you. letting me know. I've got someone at the cold weather gear that I um, showed you guys yesterday, and, and no one was here, and I was just assuming it was a big donation. So. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what's going on here in your name? Well, good morning. Good I'm morning. Arme, and of course, I'm a volunteer Arme? at the RTR. First timer, fresh out the gate in early December with my Class C Sunseeker. And here I sit. Oh my I've gosh. I've had the most incredible experience so far. I got the opportunity to gift out cold weather gear to over a hundred women on the first day of the WRTR. Are which, you serious? Which is obviously the women's portion. Yeah, and this is like, what, day three now, right? This is day three. Yes. We had socks, warm socks. We had jackets, we had hats. And we have blankets. So the thing is, is that that first night was really cold. We're talking like maybe 30s, lower in and around that range and women were cold yes and when they found out that there was an opportunity through a donation by an anonymous donator okay to come and get some warm weather gear it was incredible it, it's they sprinkled in and then as word traveled mm -hmm. we had a pretty long line mm -hmm. and we were able to accommodate no one got turned away everybody got what they wanted not everybody got all four items. Right. Some got socks, some got just got a blanket. But that next night and the next morning, I saw some of these women and they came up and they said, you know what? It was so nice to be warm last night. Wow, and you know what? Doesn't it just make your heart... Oh, I feel like the Grinch whose heart just grew 20. Arme, I see you've got a new friend that oh you just... Okay. Oh my gosh, who would have thunk? So when I last saw you, um, notice anything new, dear? Oh, the puppy. And the puppy. <laughs> I think where we left out, it was, um, you know, it's, it's a real joy to be able to gift items to women who realize that, oh my goodness, I came a little shortchanged here. Yet, what we've noticed also is that they've opened up their hearts and their pocketbooks to give back to Hala. Wow. And yeah, so, so with no... Yeah, no feeling of, yeah, give and get, give and get, yeah, and been, yeah, it's give and get back. Full circle. Full circle. Full circle. That's, that's women awesome. Women taking care of women. 
We, oh, I just absolutely love that. And you know what else I find cool about you too is your unique name, R. May. What is there any history or oh, heritage or okay. anything? So, in growing up, there's always been like seven Marys in my grade school class, and so we had to just figure it out how can we distinguish who from who. You know, go by their last names, go by our dad's names or look at our name and exchange the letters and create our new name. So, R. May. It's the R and Mary put to the front. You know, I just, that is super creative. Now, has that gone through through life with you or are there some people who still call you Mary? Oh, e absolutely. Everybody still calls me Mary. You know, okay. it really depends on how I introduce myself into what situation I'm in. I see. And, you know, it's later in life. Now I'm going by Arme. Mm -hmm. And do you sign your name then, Arme? I sign my Sometimes. name Arme, but, you know, legally, I'm Mary Ricard. Right. Mm -hmm. But I'm Arme. Yes, For yes. those who know and love me. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, I just absolutely love that because when you said it, I thought it was like A-R-M-A-I-E, and I thought, oh, there's probably a heritage or some kind of something about it. Yeah. And, and, and this is, and you were saying... You know, you pick your name. Eventually, you get to pick your name. Pick your name, yeah, and that's just so much fun. So, well, Thank it's you. been so enjoyable, and I'm, I guess maybe for the RTR, they'll, they'll maybe, who knows, there might be a restock here, because the jackets are beautiful too that they were giving away. Yep, the, you know what? It's been, it's been really a great experience yeah whoever thought of this kudos yeah and did i ask you what kind of rig you're in or how long you've been on the, and you don't have oh, to if you i am fresh out the gate okay i just got my rig it's a sun seeker 2017 december mm -hmm. december 7th had a full moon fire at some friend's house had the rig out there everybody got a chance to come and see how I'm not really crazy. I'm very cozy. It's mm -hmm. warm. It's mm -hmm. inviting. And there you have it. Wow. So are you full-time now then? I will be full-time. Mm -hmm. yep. And the newness hasn't even worn off. I have. I still have to get my rig dewinterized. I see. Okay. And is there a state that you come from that you want to... Minnesota. Minnesota. Hey, Minneapolis. Woohoo! And who wants to be in Minnesota right now? 14 inches of snow. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Earth. So any snow bunnies out there, you know where to go. Yeah. Arizona. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Armand. Bye. It's the Bulletin Lords. It's the wanted and services and needed. Let's go take a look. We've got an advertising board here. I'm picking up new cards today, so I want to put my cards up there. And then we've got announcements. Looking for friends of Bill W. Awesome. In search of ukulele players to hang out, backgammon anyone, nomads down the road, board games. Where are my modern board gamers? Let's play nomads and board gamer fun. Hey, Bobby, that's for you. Even though you're not a nomad, my neighbor <laughs> back at the tiny home, dump your trash. Hints. Ladies, when you are solo, place two chairs at your camp. Keep ice longer. I really love this one I read. Place a middle metal bowl or a muffin a tiny in the cooler. Ice melts slower. Boy, you gotta love that. Sleep warmer. A metal bowl shape can work as a cell booster. Place cell inside and scan to look for a connection. Wow. We've got needs here. Can't get my fridge to work. Need a tutor to teach me to use my camcorder and edit videos. Need a Phillips screwdriver. Someone to help show me how to use a BB gun. Need help getting insulation covering uh, fitted to windows. Help! Brand new Cosway ice maker doesn't work. You know, I need to uh, put up a card here about my Jackery. That I think it's shot, but you never know. Services. And here's things that are offered. Free guitar lessons. Offer basic knitting mechanic work. Wow, the generosity of the people here is just bar none. 
that's a for sale. That should be on the other side. Free air, air up for your tires. And there's the schedule. Very nice. You can just take a picture of it. There's the QR code. And then we go around here. There's some more needs here. A water hose needed. Dead batteries so I can get a deposit back. That's unique. Wanted a clam shelter. Oh, here's looking to buy five pounds of propane. I need an ice cooler for her hard side. Need a uh, 200 watt folding solar panel. I wonder if these people are willing to buy or if they're just, if they just, no, I think these are for, for sale. Are things that people will pay for. Because it says for sale there. There's a clam shelter for $100. That is cheap. Because you got to add tax and shipping to a lot of these things too. And here you could just pick it up and pay for it. I've got my fridge that I've tell, told everybody about. And uh, yeah, it retailed for $325. Yikes. And then rope for sale. A new sink and drain. Here's a clam shell, $100. Domatic fridge for sale. Alpha cool. All kinds of stuff. So fun. I think this is more of the, the volunteers here. Everything really kind of starts at 10 o'clock. So I'm gonna go back to my station and be uh, whoever I meet today I'll ask them if they don't mind being on camera if they're a follower and just ask them a couple basic questions interesting metal detector club had no idea so just wrapping up another day it's going on four o'clock the session usually ends around three and then people hang out and talk to one another and just thought I'd show you this beautiful view as I'm heading out back to High Jolly. Beautiful, people leaving. And blessings in your day. And joy in the journey. It's a great day with a lot of great little mini mini interview talks. Hope you enjoyed. Keep watching. I'll show you more of what's going on and people I meet. I'm going to do a couple tours. And there you have it. People heading out for the day. Later. Beautiful. On times in the desert. Nighttime. Later.